Good afternoon, people. Um, this is just a quick video um, to show you the whelping kit that I put together when raising my French Bulldog litters. Okay, and I'm also going to be showing the room I use um, to get this done. Well, this is my spare room in my house. Okay, so what I've done, just to mi minimise the amount of mess which is caused, especially when your females had a C-section, I've put some industrial bags on the floor. I've cut them open and put some masking tape on those. Just minimises the mess anyway. And here's the pups. My whelping box with the rolling bars. Don't really need these. These are really normally used for English Bulldogs, normally. Um, I got the whelping box from eBay, from a company called Warwick. Um, I've had this for nearly seven to eight years now. Um, really useful. Okay, coming off topic, these are some of the pups. Um, they're all girls, as you can see. We're getting around. This is a blue and tan girl, double AT, carrying blue, double D that is, and chocolate. No pied or brindle. Um, this is a lilac and tan wrapped in cream. Um, so it would be the same DNA as her sister. But obviously, she's going to carry EE -E because she carries cream. Um, this is a. Sable, blue form sable girl. It's my best pup at the litter, really nice. And that one there, she's sleeping, I'm just gonna leave her. Um, is a chocolate and tan. No, oh, sorry, not chocolate and tan. She's chocolate and tan wrapped in cream. Let me see if I can get her up quickly. Don't want to disturb her too much. Um, I'll show you her pads. She's got chocolate pads. I don't know if you can see too well. But she's got chocolate pads. When you take a picture with the flash on, our eyes go up red, as most of them do anyway. Yep. Okay. Okay, getting back to the matter in hand. <clears throat> okay, so these are all the items I use over the last seven years. Um, it's been foolproof. I've never lost any pups. Okay. Um, I, know, I know a lot of people might be thinking, why do you use this method? Um, instead of letting the mum do it all. Um, the French Bulldog breed itself is a, a breed which has been created by a man. I'm not too sure if you know that already. I don't want to teach Granny how to suck eggs. Okay? Um, <laughs> been created by a man. So, the whole process. Normally with a male, oh sorry, normally when you're mating your French Bulldog, okay, um, it's not a normal process. Normally, two normal dogs will tie together um, and she'll give birth naturally. Not with French Bulldogs. With French Bulldogs, everything's assisted. So the mating is normally done artificial. Um, they normally have to have a C-section. Okay. Um, you take the dog to your vet, um, where they cut open the dog and they take the pups out that way. And you think, why do they do that? Because these pups have big heads. Okay, so they can come to complications if they're trying to have the pups naturally. Okay, so you need to prepare for that. So that um, from the first mating, it's normally 63 days after that, where she, her temperature should start dropping and she would have to um, go in for a C-section. Or you can wait until she goes into labour and take her into the fit, and then she will have to have a C-section. Okay, getting back to the matter, huh? keeping coming off topic. I was trying to stay on it. <laughs> okay, so... We've got here everyday value nappy bags. They're normally for human babies. Okay, that's just a way to just put all your um, wipes in, your cotton wool in um, after use. Yeah, so just keep the place clean as possible. Try and reduce the amount of mess. Okay, um, we've got wipes. Sorry, not wipes. Um, we've got the gloves here. That's that. We've got 72 fragrance-free baby wipes. Okay, they're a pound as well. So these two items here are a pound. You get about three of those and one of those is all you need. Um, I've got these gloves from eBay. Very useful. I think they're about three pounds something. I'm not too sure. Um, that, the cotton wool, I normally get from Tesco as well. From uh, the same range, so it'd be everyday value range. Um, and they're pound as well. Very useful, very useful. Uh, you need your pad where you track the weight. So I've been doing that. This is the third week. 
Um, very easy. We need to do that. Um, after the first, the first um, three days of tracking their weight, they will go down in weight, but it will go back up. Yeah. So don't worry. Don't be alarmed. It will go back up. You need a pen, a nail clipper, and one of these. I don't know what they're called, but they're very useful. Okay. The reason why. I'm I use this. It's if your puppies comes comes into any complications of passing its stool, we administer this into the back end. Uh, you need to use distilled water, and it helps them pass that. Um, yeah, that's my kit. The nail clippers are just to trim the nails, obviously. After because uh, they do get a bit sharp, start clawing on the mum. It's not good that happens um, the panicure is for worming you're going to need this okay um, after the first two weeks you give your pups this for three days consecutively um, just to reduce the amount of worms who are in their um, their body and give it to the mum as well okay for three days straight uh, read the instructions to tell you how much you need to give uh, your pups or cat kittens even so that's that. Okay, that's it. And obviously, my TV is always useful because you spend a lot of time with these pups. So I'll just have, I'll be laying on the bed every two hours, set my alarm on my phone. I'll set it for every two hours, get up, um, put the mum into the bullpen box and feed them. I don't leave the mum in the box. I've never done that. Um, it just reduces the amount of infection and disease which is in that area. It's not a natural process. But it works. It's foolproof. Um, I would recommend you to do that. Some people are like, no, nah, you can leave the mum in there. When you do that, even though it's a better experience for the pups, um, the interaction with the mother, but you've got more chance of losing pups. I've, like I was saying at the beginning of this video, I've never lost no pups. Okay, so I'll just put the mum in there every two hours. Um, and then after the first two weeks, then I will leave the mum in there with the pups. So they're over two weeks now. The mum normally stays in there, but she's downstairs playing with the other dogs at the moment. I call her Fleur. Sorry, Lila. <whistles> Lila. Here she comes. Give you a look at her. Lila, come. <whistles> so here's Lila. Um, as you can see, um, the pups haven't taken too much out of her. Um, they've been fed every two hours. She hasn't lost too much weight. Um, she hasn't got any patches of um, hair missing because it's very draining um, on, on your female suckling her pups every two hours. Or even if you leave them in there, uh, they can suckle on it any time. And that reduces the range. You can see she's still in good condition. Um, you see, so this is a better way um, when she's ready she'll just jump in there and she'll feed them now but yeah I'll say for the first two weeks try to reduce the amount of time the mum has with the pups only put, them, put her in there when it's time to feed the pups okay and going back to the, this whirlpink kit I think all together some of the stuff is I'll have lying around the house like the, 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 the scales uh, and things um, it, it comes up to I'll say less than ten pound, less than ten pound. Um, in in the scheme of things, it's it's nothing to keep your pups alive. No, sorry, it's not ten pound. It's going to be more than that because this is about twenty pound in itself. So about to say thirty pound. Your kit is going to consist of um, to raise your litter successfully, and also be in mind to have your money put aside for your C section. Okay. Um, if you haven't got your own meals, you have to have, um, have your money put aside for the stud fee and for pups like this, this the dog that I've used is a dog called um, Don Daddy from Designables um, stud fee um, it's not cheap um, but at the end it's all worth it as you can see I've got four nice pups here um, i also done the ovulation test but I'll do another video on that I'm running out of time now but um, keep um, I'll keep you posted and I'll try and post a couple more videos in the near future take care